you on because let me tell you, some of the coolest people I've ever met in my life are transgender people. And I'm not biased because I am trans. <laughs> it's just that there's just a glow, there's a warmth, there's something when walking in those shoes of being able to go against what everybody's telling you you are and say, no, this is who I am and I'm going to show it, I'm going to be proud and this is, I want to live my life as authentically as possible. There's something so powerful about that. And when I go to conferences or I meet people online and I meet them at conferences and I see them before their transition and I see them after, there's a glow that you've just makes you so warm in life. It's just so empowering to be able to have a place where you can just be who you are and the systems that help support you in that. Then the last thing that I hear students talk about and the thing that I probably spend the majority of my life on are bathrooms. I cannot believe that I had to spend so much time in training talking about bathrooms. All right? But this is where we get the most headbutting, especially when I work with elementary, middle school, and high schools, all right? colleges or anywhere else. I don't know why it's so hard to have gender-neutral restrooms. Okay? Gender-neutral restrooms are not just for transgender students. It's for every student and every person on this campus. You have some people that just do not like public restroom facilities and would like a little bit of privacy. All right? yeah. We have people that are parents that have different gender children, and they want to be able to have a restroom that's safe for them both to go into and not feel uncomfortable. We have people with disabilities that have different gender caretakers. They want to be able to feel safe to be able to go in a facility together. All right? This is not just for transgender students but it does help transgender students. And so I always try to work with, with places. And I always say, let's look at your campus. Where do you have single stall restrooms? Because I hear two complaints and two reasons for people to push back with restrooms. Number one, it's too much money. It's just too much money to do any conversions or do anything else, we can't do it. And I always say, look at where you have single stall restrooms. Look at where they say single stall, but you have a man and a woman sign there. I have $5 in my pocket there's a signed store that you can get online, and you can have it be gender neutral. All right, it's just a little sign right there. So easy. <laughs> it's not that much money, right? Or I say, let's look at your new construction. If you're doing new construction on campus, many campuses are, which is great. When you're doing new construction, build it into your blueprints to have gender neutral restrooms. It's built in, so you're not doing any conversion. It's part of your package already. Okay. The thing that people may push back for, though, is that they worry about. Um, losing something on their campus with how they have their restroom set up. Or they say, we've just always done it this way, we don't want to change it. Okay. So, but we need to create that change because it's so important. People need a safe place to pee. Because when you have gender neutral restrooms, you no longer have to feel like the CIA agent everywhere you go. Let me tell you, I still, 10 years into my transition, I still always keep track of, well, how many people are in the restroom at this period of time? How long do I think it's going to take before they can get out? Then can I get in? Am I going to have enough time to wash my hands? Hopefully I'll have enough time to wash my hands. All right? There's a lot of anxiety that can go into the restrooms. I was in a campus, two different campuses last week in Pennsylvania, and I was talking to two people who were actually staff persons on both of those campuses who were cisgender, meaning their biological sex and gender identity were aligned, female identified, but very masculine presenting. And they are telling me how much anxiety they have just going to the restroom, all right? This isn't about a trans issue. It's just because they have short hair or they like to wear more masculine clothing or a ball cap. And every time they go into restrooms, people are always like, are you in the right restroom? Or this is a women's restroom. Excuse me. And every time I'm like, Ugh. I know. Thank you for pointing that out. But I can read, all right? So you always feel like you're being gender policed. So it's important for us to be able to have a safe place to pee, again, not just for trans students, but all students. And really, <laughs> you know, I just can't, I get really upset. <laughs> I'm trying to find an elegant way to put this, because we are, you know, among professionals. I get really upset when we focus on people's genitalia, especially when we focus on transgender people's genitalia. All right? How many other people do you ask about their genitalia, or do you worry about? But for some reason, trans people, it's just like, well, we need to know what's between the legs. I'm like, no, you don't. None of us need to know that. All right? And when we go to restrooms, we, again, just want a safe place to pee. It's not because people are sexual predators that are transgender. All right? So we need to stop focusing on that and just respecting the person that you see 